Yo, what is up, everyone? Kuros here, and today we're going to review Kid Shun, which uh, I still don't even have actual Shun, so that makes me kind of sad a little bit. All the chapters will be down below. We will review the abilities, what she's good at, and then my final poll rating. If you guys haven't joined our Discord or followed me on my Twitch.tv channel, all those links are down below. Come follow us where we play a lot of other gacha games as well. So let's start the review. Alright, let's start this review, and like we always do, we start on the right-hand side. She is an explosive unit, light armor, is positive affinity in urban, negative affinity in outdoors, and neutral affinity for indoors. So she pretty much has the opposite affinities of Azusa, and if we're looking at Azusa real quick, you can see that right, right there, opposite affinities. So really looking at that hero Ninmas, and you know, we'll say that a little bit later. Looking at her gear, she is a sniper rifle. Sniper rifles by default hit very, very hard and they attack typically slower. A uh, hat, band, and uh, watch. So those are pretty typical across the board and I do like to see that. So she's gonna be hitting very, very hard. Going on over to her stats. Her stats are insane -o. They kind of remind me of a Haruna who has very high attack scaling. Uh, crit rate is 200, which is the baseline across the board essentially. And crit damage being 200 is fine as well. HP is a little low, but that doesn't really account for a hairpin. And it should be okay, I would say. Uh, but that attack bonus is insane. Very, very much insane. Going on through to the skills. Now, she she does hit very, very hard. She really does. Looking at her EX skill, it is a 5 cost. So that is... You're looking at that Zeusa five cost uh, skill again, right? Like if you're looking at Zeusa right here, five costs also. Deals 803% damage to a single target, ignoring 44% of the target's defense. Now, what's really tricky about this is depending on where you're bringing her, you might already be bringing defense reduction. And if you're already at like, you know, 70% defense reduction, you will actually lose a little bit of quality. Because as far as I understand, you can't go above 100% defense reduction. So you, you might lose a little bit of throughput here, or you'd have to balance your teams a little bit to make sure you're not really going over that. Uh, moving on to her normal skill, it she deals 25%. Uh, to every 25 seconds, she deals 317 uh, damage to one target. 25 seconds is a good time, so I do enjoy that. Attack speed. We do love attack speed on sniper rifles. So she's going to be attacking faster, reloading faster, which is really, really good for uh, especially raids, uh, especially raids. So uh, when using now, this is this is the one that's very tricky. Unbalanced. This one is very tricky. And this is what makes uh, Kitshun either hit like a monster truck or not. So when using the EX skill decreases attack by 21 percent for 20 seconds, then afterwards, increases attack by 65 percent for 20 seconds now the reason why this is really good and where you can stack her really really well is that when we eventually get to akko i'm going to switch over to akko real quick her X skill allows you to do a critical rate for one ally by 39 percent and increases crit damage by 73 percent for 16 seconds so you would have to time this properly you'd have to watch the buffs on a kid shun and then right as it switched to that increased attack buff you would use Akko on her and she would just hit like a monster truck. And ideally with the 20 seconds you have, you would try and cycle her skill fast enough that her EX skill is back up and running. Um, and what you want to do is you want to use that EX skill right at the end of the last 20 seconds. So you get that attack buff and you get that Akko buff and then you start the whole cycle over again. It requires a lot of fine tuning, unfortunately. Moving on into her skill upgrade, she is, uh, we probably have a lot of the, I can never pronounce this, but uh, Shenhai uh, Blu-rays and, uh, and books. So that is probably a really good thing. You're probably sitting on a lot of those. And her unique weapon is a whip of love. <laughs> Passive skill increases and then increases urban affinity to SS. So she becomes a better uh, Azusa for a hero nimbus and maybe for uh titan i don't know 
uh, increases attack by 956 and increases attack speed. Now, what I I will say this before we get into the final review. Um, I have a very hard time uh, justifying her character as of right this second. She does have a lot of synergy, but she's very niche. Very, very niche. So we'll talk about that at the end. Let's talk about what she's good at, what raid she's good at, and then I'll give my final review. All right, so speaking of raids, she's pretty good for Hero Ninmas, especially in the urban area. Uh, Azusa kind of still outclasses her, but you can use her in case you don't have Azusa. Kitan, she is definitely very viable here, but depending on who you're bringing, once again, Azusa could outclass her depending on what location. And she could be used for Bennett if you're two teaming or three teaming. General content, she's great in campaign. She's okay, or I mean, she's great in bounties. Man, misspoke. Uh, she's okay in commissions, and she's so-so in PvP. I wouldn't really bring her. You really want something that's AoE-centric in PvP, or the actual regular Shun is way better. If I was the builder, this would be my overall skill priority. It would be EX the sub, the passive to normal. An example of how I would build her would be 5, 7, 10, 10. Now, some of the perks on the left-hand side is great single target, high attack, and attack speed unique equipment. Now, some of the cons on the right side are it requires a lot of timing, and unfortunately, she really isn't meta. She's not going to really make or break you in a lot of these different raids, and she's not going to make or break you in PvP, so you're really just pulling for that live 2D and to have some fun. All right, guys, there you have it. Now, so unfortunately, I do love Kid Shun's live 2D. She is, it is absolutely amazing. And she's adorable. She's adorable. But you guys are probably not going to like this rating. Unfortunately, she gets a 2 out of 5 in my book. Uh, the fact of the matter is that if any character isn't game changing to a raid at this point, and you might be able to say, well, I need someone for PVP, but there's a lot of good PVP units out there, especially as we switch um, uh, areas. If a game, if a unit is not game changing to your progression in raid, that's what this game is. It's really a PVE game that, uh, that pushes the limits for you. So I cannot recommend that you pull her, especially considering she's not a limited unit and as adorable as she is. Now, I will say this before you go, if you do not have a Zusa, she might be worth the pull because you need some sort of a single target DPS for Hero Ninmus. Uh, that hardcore is going to be very competitive. But that's my final review. If you guys enjoyed it, I hope you did. Check the comments down below I'll, or I'll check the comments down below on uh, if you have any more questions. I'll try and answer them the best I can. If you have not, once again, join us on the Discord. We're talking about Blue Archive all the time and a bunch of other games as well. Links are in the description down below. And also come join us on our Twitch channel where I do stream four nights a week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, playing RPGs, gotcha games, and a bunch of other things. So I will see you on the live stream and I will see you in the next video. Peace out, everyone. <laughs>